Here's how I got 1 million subscribers in a niche channel. So I'll just show you. My channel is called Clever Programmer that I grew. And I grew it to over 1 million, 1.29 million subscribers, as you can see at the top there. And if you look at all of my videos, um, top performing videos, right? There are these crazy long videos and I'm gonna break them down how I did it, but I'll just show you kind of behind the scenes, my dashboard, and just so you can kind of see overall what these analytics look like. So let's go lifetime, about 75 million views, 6.4 million watch hours, 1.3 million subscribers, and $205,000 AdSense. Such terrible AdSense, man. Please never monetize with AdSense. Learn how to monetize properly because monetizing it properly, I've made over $5 million. Um, and if I was smarter, I would have made more. But do not just try to monetize off of AdSense. You will be broke. So please avoid that. Okay. So I'll kind of break down these videos. The way that I did this is I realized that out of my entire channel, if you look at my entire channel and the growth of my entire channel, there's really like only 10 videos that have brought almost all of the results. And there's a lot of videos I did that didn't bring many results. But if you actually look at the top videos, majority of the results came from these top performing videos right here. And what's crazy is if I actually take you to my live, I think I have some of the best performing live content anybody's done in a niche channel. Like, look at that. The viewership is insane, right? Each, these are live streams where we would go live and build these tutorials and clones and like the viewership is insane. And the subscribers we would get on these would be crazy. But I'll show you how I did it and kind of give you at a high level understanding of it. So I realized that what people really wanted from me were these tutorials that I would do, especially these long tutorials, seven hours long, 11 hours long, right? Not all of them needed to be that long, 12 hours long, but it helped. Um, it helped when they were a little bit longer because people loved them. And I realized, okay, people want these tutorials and these tutorials usually get the most amount of views as well. So if I type in JavaScript tutorial, they get just so many views, right? Like, 2 million views in six months, 11 million views in five years. Here's mine. Here's my other one. 15 million views in four years, blah, 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 right? You could you, you get the idea. You're like, okay, these tutorials get a ton of views. So once I realized that there was crazy amount of traffic and crazy amount of demand, then all I did is I literally would go and then just make the best possible tutorial, like the best tutorial in the world on that topic, so I'm like, okay, JavaScript, because I have a coding channel, right? Programming channel where I teach people how to become software developers. And so I realized, okay, these are the tutorials that are popping. Let me just make the best possible video on that tutorial. And then it would, it crushed. Okay. And then I, rep then I just found that success and I kept repeating it. I found out, okay, Python is a popular programming language. Let me just make the best Python tutorial in the world. And then that popped off, got over 2 million views. Uh, these, these type of videos would get a lot of views, top five programming languages, top five. A lot of people would drop these and they would get crazy views. So I'm like, okay, these are the videos that get the most amount of views. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop a video on this topic, but make it the best possible video on that topic. And you can see it just crush, right? It got like 2 million views. I dropped it again and it got 2 million views. Um, and so I just kept repeating that process. I dropped it again and got 1 million views. So every single time, it would keep crushing it. So I realized tutorials for me were a huge thing. So I just double, triple down on that. And I just kept making, you know, here's a Merge Stack tutorial that 12 hours long, 1 million views. Here's a Python AI tutorial. Here's a Django tutorial. Here's a React tutorial. Here's another Python tutorial. And so I just learned that this was the way for me to just kill it. And I went all in and I just started taking the most popular things and making videos on it. So in your own niche, what you could do is you could go to videos that are the most popular in your niche. And especially if you're an education channel, find the most popular videos, especially guides or trainings and things like that. And then just make the deepest guide, the most advanced possible training on that one thing as you possibly can. Even if it's 30 minutes long or one hour long or three hours long or five hours long, it doesn't matter. People will watch it. Drop that. 
that one video will help you grow way more than these countless other videos, right? If I go here, there's these countless videos that I've done that have gotten like small views, like countless videos that have gotten, you know, hey, writing code is slow and stupid. It just means sitting and talking, 20,000 views. Um, here's another one where I'm just kind of sitting and sharing something, 30,000 views. Here's another one, 20,000 views. So it's like, okay, I'm just sitting there and talking and it does well, but it's only like 10,000 views, 20,000 views, 30,000 views. But if you look at the ones where I just went all in on the tutorial side, those just crushed, right? So that's what you want to be doing where you want to find where you got success and then you want to go all in on that success. You want to go all in on that key thing. And I just found that the biggest tutorials or the biggest tutorials you can make, especially for education channels, is just a really smart thing to do. So that's my hack that I used. You can use it in your industry, whether it's you making like these big guides and you could kill it with that, or you could do these listicle videos, top five ways to get abs, you know, top five ways, top five hacks to burn 500 calories per day and then just make it the best possible guide that you can. That way, without trying to make like just viral content for the sake of viral content, like cat videos, you can make educational videos, build a really solid audience, and then use that to actually monetize and make money. And I have a ton of other videos you can watch where I show you how to monetize with your audience, right? So then you're not just left with breadcrumbs, like 200,000 in AdSense after a couple of years, but you can actually make millions of dollars and that would be really helpful, right? And life-changing. So that's my story of how I got to 1 million subscribers. Now, what I want to share with you is it takes a lot of work. So I don't want to hide that work, okay? So I'll show you the amount of work that it really takes behind the scenes. So I will share this with you, okay? So I'll, we'll go here and I'll share this with you, right? So if I just show you my YouTube, this is the amount of work. And I'm not even showing you 2023 right now. I'm showing you everything else besides 2023. But take a look at this, right? This is the work that it takes. So in 2016, I mean, look at how many videos I made in 2016. Then look at the videos in 2017. 2018, I got lazy, started partying. But then look at 2019, 2020, right? 2021, 2022. And so it took me seven years Okay. And a lot of work. I had to also develop skills on my own outside of this, right? I had to become really good at coding. I had to become really good at communicating. I had to learn a lot about making videos, you know, learning from Mr. Beast. I had to go to uh, Vit Summit to learn. I had to invest. I had to build a team of, I built a team of multiple people that worked with me, right? I, I probably spent like millions of dollars, not probably, I guaranteed spent millions of dollars building my team, building my educational programs, um, you know, hiring editors, consultants, anybody that I could work with to learn more about YouTube, to become better at YouTube, et cetera. And so you probably couldn't see a lot of the stuff that I wrote, so I'll move it down. But I've spent millions of dollars, a lot of time, a lot of events, mentors, developing my own coding skills that I can show on the channel, communication skills, then video skills, right? Obviously, like how do I edit these videos? How do I make them better? How do I make a hook better? How do I make the tutorial as entertaining as possible? So all of that stuff takes a lot of time and time to develop your skills outside of YouTube and then time to develop your skills inside and on top of YouTube. And that combined yields to what you saw, which is a channel with over a million subscribers, which is what your goal might be, right? In order to, you wanna probably get a channel with a million subscribers or more. And especially if you could do it in a niche, then I think that's even really strong because you didn't do it with viral content, you did it in a very niche-based, um, you know, way, and now you have a niche audience, and that audience, I can sell 
programming courses to educational programs. And that's how I make my revenue now, right? I help people become software developers. And I ended up building an entire brand out of it. We've helped thousands of students get the skills so that they can land jobs. We've been able to do in-person events and tons more, right? But it just takes a while to do this and you have to build your skills. You cannot skip that part of the process and it takes time and a lot of hard work. And if you're smarter than me, you could do it faster, right? If you learn and you could, you could definitely do it faster. But this is my journey. Hopefully that was valuable to you. As always, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.